Faye again, and welcome to Randomish. Tonight, we are going to talk about hair color and how to maintain it. Um, I dyed my hair on November the 10th. Today is February. February what? Today is December the 5th, so it's been almost a month now. It's been done like this, and I've had almost no fade. We split dyed it. There is... I did not part my hair evenly, so I do have some of my green and like vice versa is happening. But um, I did use Eero Eero when I dyed it this time. Um, I did it at home. I bleached it at home. I just used the ISO uh, cream bleach from Sally and a 30 volume developer. Um, but it's not my first time bleaching my own hair. And my mother was a beautician, um, so I grew up my whole life around that and kind of learned from her. So I didn't just go at it completely having no idea what I was doing. So that did help. Um, but, so we did, of course, Eero Eero. We've got electric purple on this side. And believe it or not, this side was supposed to be black. I bought black, but it turned out being their emerald green shade, which honestly, I don't hate. Because, like, like let me tell you mermaid vibes everywhere like I'm I'm obsessed so anyway I bleached uh bleached I bleached all the way to the root um now this has about a month to grow out so I my hair grows quick so it has come out I've got roots but you can see just the tiniest bit of blonde where it was and I didn't get all the way to my scalp but that's okay so how has my hair stayed this insanely vibrant for a whole month, you ask? Uh, here's some tricks. Most people I know go into Vivids not doing the research or thinking, oh, I got this. It's not a big deal. Um, upkeep is going to be easy, whatever, whatever. And then most people I know that get Vivids go and pay ridiculous amounts of money for it and they don't last but a couple of weeks because you don't upkeep it correctly. So the biggest, biggest thing, don't wash your hair every day. Don't do it. And if you're one of those people, it's like, oh, my hair is so oily if I don't wash it every day. That's because you have to train your hair. When you wash your hair every day, shampoos will strip your hair of its natural oil. Um, it just, it is what it is. And because of that, your hair will overproduce and your scalp will overproduce these oils. So if you do go, if you regularly wash your hair on a daily basis and you do start trying to train it, it will be oilier in the beginning. That only lasts a week or so. Um, once your hair gets used to you not traumatizing it and drying it out constantly, it will regulate and it just goes back to producing the natural amount of oil. You don't have to worry about just over oily hair. Now my hair is shiny just because I take good care of it. It is like, I mean, there is, there's no oil in this at all. Like just, this is good taking care of hair. Um, let's see here. I'm trying to think <sighs> cold water. When you wash, it is essential that you use cold water. Hot water will bleed your hair all over the place. It will bleed your colors together. If you have multiple colors, cold water, is the way to go. If you're like me, which a lot of people aren't, I like to literally scald myself in the shower. Like I like incredibly hot, like hell fire shower water. Okay. So I will put my hair up at a ponytail, handle my shit. Okay. Hair's up, scald the rest of myself. And then when it comes time for my hair, I will turn straight cold water on, deal with my hair, do what I need to do with that. Um, I wash, I do not rinse and repeat. I just wash to get to make sure I get a good lather. If, um, if my hair is a little over oily, I won't get a good lather. And that's how I personally can tell that my hair is just a little bit over. And so sometimes I will do a second wash, but it is very, very rare and far between. Um, after that I will do conditioning and then I let that sit usually at least five minutes on my hair before I rinse my conditioner out. Um, so like usually I'll condition and then I'll do something else, wash, shave, what, whatever. And then I'll go back and rinse my conditioner out. Um, towel drying, you know, I always towel dry. I personally do not blow dry my hair. Um, but that's just because my hair is incredibly thick. Like 
it's I recently shaved my head and it's growing back but just I don't know it's I have I just have the most hair it took an entire I will say with the Eero Eero it did take an entire bottle of color per side of my head um, so if I would have done a solid color I would have at least needed two maybe three um, but it did take one entire uh, tube per side it runs um, about $12 at Sally um, I will definitely link it I will link Sally down below and you can just search the uh, semi-permanent dyes they have a fantastic selection um, this was my first time using them normally I do Arctic Fox or Paul Bryant or uh, Manic Panic just because you know tried true those are what I use but I really like this it's a vegan hair dye I mean it's absolutely fantastic it did not dry my hair out I mean just look look at this color guys like it doesn't even look real almost and I get so many compliments and like everybody's like where'd you get your hair done where'd you get your hair done dude I did this myself at home for like a grand total of $60 between the bleach and the dye so you know I'm definitely not mad at it and for a month it's it's holding up amazingly well um I think here in a couple weeks I am gonna redo I'm gonna redo it I don't know I'm gonna do the same colors or what but I think I may do a live um not a live really but just a whole process of me bleaching um dyeing all of that good stuff so you guys can just kind of see how I personally do it but I've been doing this for years years to myself just after watching mom and I didn't act like asking her to do it because I was like oh I can just do that and after the first couple times she was like yeah dude you got this so um but cold water do not wash your hair every day guys don't do it I know it's so tempting and you're like oh my hair gets so gross it's because you're you're killing your hair you're not really killing it but you're over drying your hair washing it so it's trying to compensate by over producing oil so stop doing that and your hair will chill the fuck out. Um, I wash mine once a week unless I have done something just to get nasty, dirty, and I have to wash it again, and I absolutely will. But otherwise, I mean, just regular daily stuff. My hair is in a ponytail. Sometimes it sounds like this. I'm not doing anything super gross. There's, there's zero need to wash it on a daily basis. Um, let's think here. If anybody has any uh, questions please do not hesitate again electric purple and this was bottled as black but turned out to be their emerald green and honestly like I said don't hate it I'm really upset about um, the mislabeling because I was very very ready for like purple and black but I mean it just it turned out gorgeous so I really cannot complain now I will say that even when you do a cold water wash rinse on this you are going to get a little bit of bleed but nowhere like not bleed into itself but out of your hair into the shower um it's not going to be nearly what you're going to see with hot water not even close um and it's pretty temporary like mine will just bleed color for just a few minutes and then it's back to running clear um now, if you do an all over color, you can absolutely use overtone. It's fantastic. Um, my daughter, my oldest daughter has almost white blonde hair and she can dye her hair with overtone. But um, they make fantastic coloring conditioners to um, help maintain. And also a trick my mom taught me was I would take my conditioner or my shampoo rather, and I'd get one of those little travel bottles and I'll put some of my shampoo in it and just a squeeze of whatever color I used, um, especially something like this where it doesn't have to be mixed, um, it's just a pour and go type situation, mix it in with your color, mix your color in with your shampoo, sorry, can't talk, and wash like that when it's an all over color, and that will definitely help just redeposit in between. Um, but like I said, I don't personally have that issue. My hair has always held color really well anyway, but I've always done it the same way. I have literally had semi-permanent dye that had to be cut out of my hair um, once, I mean, it grew long enough because it just, it stopped fading at a certain point. And it was just like, cool, my hair is gonna be, you know, purple, blue, and pink forever. That's 
cool with me. And it just got so long that I was fine. I just cut the shit off because like it was down here, my regular hair color. It was, it was insane. But I was trying to give my hair a break because I over dyed it like crazy for a long time. And um, I didn't, didn't always use the vegan dyes and bleaching my hair in between just, it got real rough. So, but please feel free to reach out um, with any questions, comments, think I missed anything. Um, I just, I can't say it enough guys. Do not overwash your hair. Don't do it. And wash in cold water. Always. If you have color, cold water. Don't care. It's cold water. You want your color to survive more than a couple weeks after you went and paid like damn near $200 for it. Cold water and stop washing it on a daily basis. All right, guys. Well, that's my schmill for tonight. Um, I just was looking at my hair and I was like, you know, everybody keeps asking me how I've kept it like this for damn near a month. So we're just gonna, cause I mean, there's been almost no fade. I'm going to see if I can figure out how to drop a picture in of like the day I did it. Almost like almost no fade. It's fantastic. And I really like the ear o ear. I believe I am going to try it again. Um, I just, I don't know something about it. I really like it. I think I'm going to give it another shot. So, Ooh, color suggestions, drop them down. Um, you want to see my hair any certain color? I'm down. Let me see what you want to say it as. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. Have a great night. Thank you for coming to randomish.